when karma strikes the narcissist. The narcissist treated you unfairly. You invested in them. You put in your money, effort and time. You helped them out. And they treated you unequally. They threw you under the bus. And they thought they got away with it. They thought they got away without having to face any consequences for their actions. And then they forgot about what they did to you. They had a good time taking advantage of you. And then they just moved on like nothing happened. But it was amusing for them to see you going through it. To see you dealing with an unpleasant situation. To see you trying to recover what they had destroyed. They were laughing at you. They were telling everyone that you're down and out. You're unhappy and depressed. You're washed up. It's all over for you. And they were enjoying that. It brought them amusement, delight and excitement. It made them feel good. They were joking and laughing. While knowing that you were experiencing difficulty. They thought it was funny. You had to struggle. You had to suffer. And they just continued. They were making fun of you. They were treating you like a joke. They were saying they don't want you. They were laughing at the distress that they caused you. But what you do to other people will eventually come back to you. And it will return to them with equal impact. They will experience the same kind of things that they caused to you. You may not see it. But that doesn't mean that it isn't happening. They may initially escape punishment and criticism for their bad actions. They may think that they have gotten away. And it may look like they're doing better without you. But that's when karma is about to strike because they did a lot of bad things to you and they never did anything to correct it. They never tried to compensate or make up for their wrongdoing. They thought it was funny. They didn't try to compensate for their faults and bad aspects. But first, karma will let them have a period of excitement. It will let them find a situation that they think is better for them. A situation that they don't want to be spoiled or ruined. But then... Karma will come back to haunt them. Because they know they cheated you. They know they deliberately put you in an unfavorable situation without trying to compensate or make up for their wrongdoing. They didn't show any sympathy for you. They didn't feel any regret for what they had done. So karma will let them feel comfortable for a moment, but then it will rip them apart. 
because that is when karma is most effective. When the person who has done wrong feels like they have gotten away with it. When they feel like they can continue doing it. Because there's no consequences for their actions. But that's when karma comes back to strike them. And deep down they know why it's happening. They won't try to make sense of it. They won't try to reverse the effect of it. But they're aware of it. They know why it's happening to them. They will play the victim. They will try to blame other people for their misfortune. But this is the effect of their actions. It's the result of what they have done. Karma will build you up. And it will break the narcissist down. And then one day you will see it. You will see what is happening to them. After they subjected you to hostility and ill treatment. They haven't got away with what they did to you. There will be fairness and justice. You may want them to get their karma now, but it wouldn't be as effective. You wouldn't feel that justice as a result of what they did to you. So you have to stay patient until the time is right. Until you start to see that things are going wrong for them. Because they will try to fight it. They will try to bring other people into it. Because when other people are involved. It can sometimes obstruct their karma. It can cause a delay. Because other people may be supporting them. Other people may be protecting them from their karma. Which is why narcissists don't like being alone. They're always looking for new supply. So that they're not in a vulnerable position when karma finally strikes them. But after some time. You will start to see that it's getting to them. At first it may have seemed like they were doing better without you. But eventually that starts to diminish. They can no longer maintain it. Everything they try to build just keeps falling apart and they're unable to deal with it. It may look like the narcissist has gotten away with it because they found someone else. They're partaking in someone else's favor, protection and benefits. Because this other person has nothing to do with what the narcissist did to you. So they're hanging on to this person for dear life. Because they know that karma is coming for them. But eventually. Karma will tear that situation to pieces as well. Which is why you have to be careful with who you're dealing with. You could be dealing with someone who has a lot of bad karma because of things that they have done to other people and then it will wreak havoc in your life because you're around them which is why narcissists can't be alone they have to be around other people because they can delay their karma if there are other people around to support them The new person they're with becomes a barrier. They lessen the impact of the narcissist karma. Which is why things started to go wrong in your life. Because you were involved with someone who had a lot of bad karma. Which is the result of things that they had done to people before you. Karma is harsh and inflexible. They can run. They can hide. 
They can find someone else. They can blame you. But they know what they've done. And when karma finally strikes them, it will break them down. They will go from enjoying themselves extravagantly to being stuck with nothing. But they will refuse to correct their wrongdoing. So they will continue to experience the same sequence of events because they didn't even try to make things right. They didn't even try to correct it. So trust in the process. Don't worry about it. Focus on rebuilding and let karma do what it needs to do. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.